Okay, guys. Hi, how are you doing? So it's after Christmas, and we're sitting here with all this leftovers. We've got leftover turkey. We got leftover ham. So Maria suggested we make turkey a la king out of one of the dishes, and she's going to do some leftover ham, I think, and beans. But anyways, I'm separating out the turkey right now. And she's going to come in in a second and help me with the the turkey. So I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and looking forward to a very happy new year. A lot of meat left on this turkey. Holy smokes. Be careful of your bones. Get rid of any ligaments and fat. So you guys uh, comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what you're doing. You got any big plans for New Year's? Or are you just kind of chillaxing around the house like we are? <laughs> My wife's birthday is January 1st, so we always celebrate that along with the New Year. And they're wanting to go bowling this year. That's my dad's request. We sat around and had a small family gathering and played cards. We play a game here in the Midwest called 500 Rummy, and boy, it was a lot of fun. Really competitive. My family's so competitive when it comes to games and cards. So it's kind of nice to just put down the phones and uh, just play the old board games and stuff. That's what we did. We all just put our phones down, and except for getting a few pictures. Uh, didn't even take any video, really, other than the Christmas tree. So anyways, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful holiday. Uh, we're just really sitting around, enjoying the time off, to tell you the truth. Spending some time with family, much needed time, because a lot of my family we hadn't seen in almost two years. So, wow, ton of meat on this turkey, guys. I don't know if you can see it from where you're at. I hope you can. But uh, when you're making... Chicken a la king, I think white meat's preferred, but you can use dark meat, whatever you got. Hey, Maria, what else we need here for your chicken or your turkey a la king? Have her come in and show us what we need to do here. Chicken a la, uh, turkey a la king is just only like you are okay. making. Here, help talk to my people and chicken, say hi to them. Chicken pot pie. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay. Don't throw that because we. I can so, do more on that. I've got. You think that's enough meat? Uh huh. That's gonna be that one over there. Why you don't you use that one and throw? I can use the dark meat, but really, how much meat you need? That's what I'm trying to find out. It's a it, uh uh chicken alicking is like it's up to you, but the old ways they have noodles on it. It's like a uh, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle yeah. whatever. Because we're using the uh, pie shell. Uh, we could do it like a turkey pot pie. Yes. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I don't really want too many carb. I think that's enough with the... Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah, you can put that. Okay, so we got that. I'm pretty much done with yep. this. And I'll um, leave the rest of this because Maria's going to make something else out of that. I think that's enough meat, don't you? Yeah. For you and I, yes. And then the rest of this we can pick through and... What other ideas do you got for this turkey? Anything. What can the viewers use it for? Ah, you can use a lot of things. You can, can use like a, a turkey, a turkey soup. soup. You can you can do a lot of things. Whatever leftover you have is it depends. You can put a it's like you're making chicken, you know. Like a chicken soup, chicken salad noodles. Sandwich. Yes. You can do a turkey salad sandwich. Yes. Got a ton of meat left over in here. I think that's enough. For pot pie, approximately a quart or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm going to put a lid on that for now. Set that aside. And I'm going to work on my dough. So just a second here. Okay, guys. Now I've got some leftover pie crust here that I made. And I'm just going to kind of work this dough. It's nice and cold, which is the way I like it. 
pies and whatnot. We'll just kind of see what we got left over here. You can use these for anything. I uh, I made some delicious apple, like a pot pie. Can you grab my pot pie and I'll show them that? Got extra pie crust left over. You can kind of see in there what I made. We bring it up a little closer so they can kind of see it. <laughs> We it's, made little apple. It's really good, guys. Little it, apple pies. Mm -hmm. Very easy. We just chopped up some. I know. In Philippines, you guys, we, we do is like square. But this one is look like an empanada, but it's not. Yeah, I made them in the shape of an empanada. Okay, so I'm going to cut this in half. It's an awful lot of dough. Wow, I'm just going to. Some people don't want to tear it, but it doesn't kill it. Set that aside for just a second. Go ahead and I'm going to roll this out. Let me grab my roller. You're on. My dough's still cold, so it's kind of tough to roll out. Yeah, guys, just, uh, you know, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more uh, in the future. And also, you know, comment, let me know what you're doing for your New Year's or how your Christmas was. I haven't had a chance to talk with all my viewers yet. Been very busy. Busy Christmas time. My son came in from uh, San Francisco, California, him and his girlfriend. My dad came up and we just played games and spent a lot of family time cooking. Lots of cooking, lots of food around here. Of course, you can figure that. <laughs> Maria and I. Shout out to my wife, Maria, on her new channel. Check her out. Rosebud's Casino with the K. You guys get on there and hit the like button on her. Watch a couple of her videos if you would. And of course, in turn, she'll jump on and check you out. I'm going to roll this out kind of thin, guys. We need it about, uh, you know, pie shell thin, very thin. Trying to get a rectangle. Big hunk of dough. We made a lot of pies, guys. I don't know if you stuck around for my recipe for the sugar cream pie. Uh, but this time we made pumpkin pie. And we made cheesecake for Christmas. Very delicious. So maybe we'll do a cheesecake. I know you've seen my Japanese cheesecake. Check out my recipes. or I got a recipe for that. It's wonderful. Love that. Something different for us here in America. Man, I tell you, when your dough's frozen or chilled, it's really a job getting it rolled out. But roll it out as thin as you can. Okay, guys, I'm going to check back with you. Let my assistant cut, cut it for now. I'm just going to roll this out. We'll line it in that pan. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, we have run some water over there. I switched out for a larger pan, and I have rolled out my initial dough. So what I'm going to do is just take a rolling pin, and let's just kind of roll that up on top of it. Pull it towards you a little bit gently, a little bit. Okay. There we go. Going to kind of overlap the sides here as we go along. Kind of let it droop down and push down in there a little bit along the sides gently. Kind of just lift the side of your pie dressing up or Or something. 
Remember, you don't need it very thick, guys. I can trim this outer layer off just with a butter knife here real quick. I'm going to add it back to my dough. And you can take little pieces of it and patch it out as you need to. Dish. Again, check out my wife's channel. She's going to be on uh, Rosebud's Casino. And don't forget also, I have also um, uh, Mario Masi also. So. Okay, so I'm going to add that dough back to this other one so I can work that for a top layer, okay? All right, guys. <clears throat> Give me just a second. I'll be back and we'll make up the filling for this, okay? Oh, can I get some help? I'm all gloved up. I'm going to let her hit that for me. Okay, guys. So I've just lined a, a baking dish here. I don't know what size it is. It's maybe 11 by 16 uh, baking dish. And I'm going to pop that in the oven at 350. And just bake that for uh, about five or ten minutes until it's a little bit golden brown, okay? And then we'll go ahead and add our pie stuffing, all right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm working on my top shell here. I'm just going to set it aside. It happens to be about the same size as the top of my. <laughs> as my cutting board. So I'm just going to kind of use that as a guide for the top dough piece. This leftover extra dough I can save and use for apple pie or whatever I like. Kind of nice. Let's set that aside. Wow. See, it's going to roll up that for the top here. If I can get it off here. <laughs> wanted a little bit of extra. What is in your roller? I get it off the pan there first. I'm trying to loosen up the edges a little. Edges loosened up and started. Gently roll that up on my roller. All right, guys. I'm just going to set that aside for now. And uh, then we're going to work on the feeling here. I'm going to let Maria help you. You're going to help me out here. Okay, guys, I'm going to add this pie shell. My oven's preheated to 350. I'm going to pop that in for about five or ten minutes. Still haven't quite got there yet, but let's go ahead and do that first. Okay, everybody. Okay, I'm going to do here is saute up my garlic a little bit. Prepared garlic. A little bit of minced garlic there. Add 
Got some minced potatoes here. Add that whole can. Got some carrots. Add a whole can of carrots there. Trying to move you down here so you can see me a little better. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna let that brown up a minute. I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, kind of letting that brown up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our uh, turkey meat. Just kind of Ooh, that felt good. Gently stir that. Sucker got hot. Hit the metal part of it. Part of cookery. If you don't burn yourself at least once, you're not cooking right. <laughs> right? Never trust a skinny chef. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add, let that warm up a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of thickener in here. Took a little cornstarch and a little water. I don't have water, but we'll just kind of see. Okay, so I added just about a quarter cup of water and we're beeping. So get that kind of thickened up a little bit. Yeah, that's and look good. Let's add our peas to the top of that. That'll be the last thing going in. We got that wonderful garlic in there. You can even add ginger if you'd like. That's very healthy. I'm just going to kind of turn that over just a little bit just to warm those peas up. And then what we're going to do is set this aside and let it cool off for about 15-20 minutes before we add it to our pie shell. Let's go ahead and check out the pie shell. Okay. Got my pot oh. holder here. Better use that. Careful with that pot holder. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay, guys, that looks good. I just wanted that kind of brown up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to let this finish up, cooking a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Nice and thick. You can see the consistency of that. Let me get an up close shot for you. Kind of see what we're dealing with. Just That's kind good. of a thick consistency there, guys. Smells wonderful. Let that thicken just a little bit more. Uh, actually, you know what? I could probably shut it off right where it's at. Just got that kind of congealed. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to let that cool off and add it in. And I'll check back with you in a few. Okay, guys. Well, I've let that cool off. I kind of blast chilled it a little bit. And it's thickened up. Uh, I don't really need to add much salt or pepper or seasoning to it. Because as you realize, uh, the turkey meat was pretty well seasoned with the poultry blend. Uh, before, uh, when you know, when I bake the turkey, but if you'd like, you could taste it and add salt, pepper, whatever you need. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and fill the pie shell here with that. My wife's working on some ham and beans on the back burner from the leftover ham hock. It smells so delicious. So check out her channel, uh, Rosebud's Casina.
Also, she has uh, another cooking channel you can look at, Maria Massey. We're just going to line that. That would be wonderfully delicious. Oh. <laughs> so cute. That's good. Smells good. Yeah, that smells good. So I'm just going to kind of level that out a little bit. Nice and thickened out. I've got my top layer here. I've rolled that out pretty thin, about the size of a pie, uh, pie shell. And I'm just going to kind of roll that. Roll that out gently. Poke holes in the top of it. Don't worry about that hanging over too much because it's going to shrink up as it bakes. So. Got a pair of scissors, you can trim a little bit of that. Mine's a little lengthy on the one side. Let's see. Go ahead and trim that outer edge of just a little bit there. Hang it over a little bit. And then you could take and just take two fingers and press it down, pinch it together if you'd like. Give it a little design or decoration. Like I said, it's going to shrink down a little bit, so. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Okay, guys, still kind of working on the edge here. Just folding the peak over, pinching it down. It's going to be a little bit thick around the edge, but that's okay. I'm not going to get into much of that when I need it. So. That little piece off the corner there. All right, guys, so that's it. We're going to put that in the oven at 350. Let's go ahead and bake that for about ah, 45 minutes or so, just enough to get that pie crust done. And uh, we'll see what we got. Again, I poked some holes in the top of it. Uh, so 350 for about 45 minutes. And pop that in there. Okay, and I'll check back with you. Okay, guys, that's beeping. Let's check it out. Oh, goodness gracious. Could have put a half pan under it, but it's all right. Wow, it smells wonderful.
right about where I want it, guys. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And uh, normally I let that kind of set for a little bit before I cut into it. So I'll check back with you. And let that cool off just a little bit, guys, and then we'll plate it up. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and cut into it here a little bit. We can smell Maria's ham and beans back there. <laughs> smell wonderful. Moment here. <laughs> Goodness, smells so delicious, guys. Of course, our kitchen always smells so good with all the baked goods and food we have. We're so blessed. Thank you, Lord, for all of your abundance this last year. Bear with me just a moment, guys. <laughs> Piece of pie shell sticking together. You know me, I'm just going to snip it. Wow. There it is, guys. That's our delicious <clears throat> turkey pot pie. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more delicious turkey pot pie. Hope you enjoyed. Have a blessed new year.